Okay. Right. So. Welcome back to another episode of Riverdale. Yay. Yeah. Um, we got Jason back. Yay. Hey. Roxy's over there, but uh, she's joining us for the watching, but uh, she says she'll. A snipe snipe commentary. A yeah. Snipe commentary. Yeah. And if I don't look great, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there are reasons. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. 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 But um, so this was uh, to Riverdale and back again, a Hobbit's tale. Um, and uh, something I think we missed last time. Archie's mom is Raleigh, Molly Molly Ringwald from the Breakfast Club. Yeah, and I'm just gonna throw this out there. She's my new favorite character. To be fair, anybody we haven't gotten to know yet is probably going to be your new favorite character. Well, I mean, yeah, there's that, but there's also, like, she's the fact that she shuts down Alice's shit when she tries to play her little games with her. Mm -hmm. She seems genuinely supportive and, like, is also super mature, like, when Alice, like, tries to pull the whole, oh, you know, uh, Hermione and... Fred were fooling around. She's like, he's not dull. He can do what he wants. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. uh, also, on a side note, uh, I realized where I recognized uh, the guy who plays Fred Andrews from. He is. He was the uh, fake psychic in Leverage. So. <laughs> he also was in Beverly Hills. Now I just want to know that is what he's most. Well, that I haven't seen. seen. I've never <laughs> seen, but I just know that he's from that. So, uh, the plot, like, where do we, uh, start on? Well, for one thing, uh, the high school is doing a home, homecoming dance. Yay! Mm -hmm. Which apparently also doubles as a reunion. Hey. For all previous generations at once. That, yeah, we got young people, old people, the group in the middle that doesn't have a category yet. It's good times, good near, times. Near as I can tell, though, all of the... People from Riverdale, like, they, they don't exactly, uh, they, they breed in gen in whole generations. I guess. Because, you know, all, all of our theoretically main characters ha are going to high school at the same time, and all their parents went to high school at the same time. Which stands to reason, but yeah. Well, I mean... Yeah, no, I get what you mean. It's like, between this current generation of high schoolers and their parents, there doesn't seem to be any 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 uh, ages in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, homecoming's coming, and... Alice just, seems to be working out of the school newspaper, yeah. which I'm not sure how she got past and it for. Con and control over... Oh, students. yeah. Um, um, as they're digging into the mystery of who killed Jason Blossom. Yes. Which they, everybody seemed to be pointing their fingers at Jughead's dad. Yes, F.P. Jones. I, if, I think that was the name we were kicking around last time, but it is F.P. Jones. Mm -hmm. um, and we still don't know what F.P. stands for. Um, actually, I told us to call him briefly. And the F stands for Forsyth. I can see why he goes by F.P. <laughs> <laughs> One's which, is, which is both Jughead and his father's first name, but they just go by their nicknames, F.P. and Jughead. Wikipedia. Forsyth. Yeah. I, I, it makes me wonder what Jelly Bean's real name is. Probably Christabella or something. Or s something pretentious. Um, Anyways, we have Alice Cooper trying to dig in and having um let's see she was in they were she was inviting both jughead and jughead's dad to a dinner to interrogate yeah pretty much under, she, under the pretense of letting the families get to know each other yeah and i'm just gonna put this out here alice cooper is a fucking terrible interrogator there is no subtlety to what she's trying to mine for yeah, just, I, I don't know why she thought it was going to work. I think because in her house, when she says something, it happens. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, that ain't how the real world works, Allie. I did kind of appreciate FP turning it on her and doing a homecoming story. <laughs> that was where, where he said, where, where he's 
clearly referencing Alice's high school abortion. Yeah. And I don't know. And what actually they were being considerably about. more subtle about it than that. Uh, yeah. Serious was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, and uh, if we're uh, if we're continuing this uh, little Game of Thrones of dinner, um, what do we call this? The uh, the red homecoming? Because uh, well, there certainly was a lot of red, but yeah, there, but not the Coopers. Too, yeah, no, too. but uh, Polly fucking like very figuratively assassinated her mom by going behind her you said, back. Uh, you said Polly, it's Betty. Fuck. How many fucking characters are in this thing? Too many. Polly's in the Blossom's house. Yeah. Betty's the one that yeah. decided to bring her dad, their, her yeah. dad, her dad, to the dinner and Which, saying she was cool about it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, pretty much, yes. Yeah. So she, yeah, so in comes uh, Amber, Amber Crombie and... Fuck, what's their last name again? Cooper. Uh, yeah, Amber... No, it doesn't work. Um... Point well, is, I mean, you know what you want to say, but... Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Mr. Cooper comes in, and it's clearly super awkward, so that's a nice little bit of revenge, not that I can know Well, he's just like, it's been lonely, it's been lonely at the place, and she did a little bit of interior, interior decorating by throwing a brick through, through the window of the newspaper place. The next brick I throw won't be at a window. Christ. Um... But uh, while this is going on, um... she talks. She, she oh yeah, talks she talks to Veronica, Veronica and kind of get, asks yes. Veronica to kind of snoop, a, snoop maybe, around yeah. and kind of look through FP's place to see yeah. if there's anything. And, and she drags in Archie. Yeah, With, um, which uh, does lead to a moment that proves foresight's foresight. Uh, in hiding Jason's jersey. Ah! Yeah, did we see him do that, or...? We, we saw him pass it off to, um, the, the, uh... The, yeah, the, the gay serpent. Yeah, the one who's dating Kevin? Kevin, yes. 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 Okay, I got the name right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um... It's my, a victory. Yeah. yeah. My, my brain is full of Star Wars facts. I don't have a lot of space for anything else. Wait, that came out wrong. Um, uh, point is, yeah, they snoop around, find nothing, and I guess and take Veronica the next... has a moment of, I, I want to be sure my father's not guilty of this before I let him back into my life. Yeah. Uh, which is which, fair. Which yeah, is totally fair, but fair. it does kind of lead to trying to prove a negative. Oh, is that what you call that? Yeah, she's like, you know, we, we didn't find anything. Well, let's look harder. There's got to be something. And, yeah, we... It's understandable. And they have another moment. Yeah, they have another moment. She said that there's this, the other moment didn't happen. Yeah, but uh, when they were performing on stage together, I think um, people... I think people are starting to clue in about their moments. Yeah. They're, they're getting, getting Betty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very notably Betty staring kind of... Mm -hmm. Slack jaw at them. Oh, I thought that was more of a the betrayal. You bitch, you bitch. What? You betrayal. went behind my back. It was more of the betrayal mm. than the moment. Oh, yeah. Um. Now let's talk about the other sister. Oh right, the actual Polly. Oh, yes, fuck. the actual Polly in the Blossoms' house. Yeah. As she's snooping around, trying to go through, and she opens a door and sees Clifford. With gray hair. Yeah. And up till now, he's been blossom redhead. Yeah. And she sees on the side, this, and we see an image of this creepy side of all, all the wigs. Yeah, which is less creepy now that I know what it's, now that we know what it's for. Because before that, I thought yeah. this was one of Cheryl's secret rooms, and she was dressing things up as Jason or Archie. But, I mean... I mean to be fair... She, she was using, like, mannequin busts that were, since this is a CW, virtually indistinguishable from Jason. <laughs> although, they, oh, oh, the heads do look a little creepy. Though. Yeah, they look it's, very creepy. Well, I mean, they're mannequins. They don't actually have eyes. Yeah. And then we found out that they're used, he uses each one for the mood that he's in. <laughs> That's, which, which is fucking amazing, but 
I won't hold that against him. I, I mean, I kind of imagine this this weird moment where he's at a board meeting and suddenly gets very angry and puts up a privacy screen to swap out hair. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Polly decides to be tricky and talk Cheryl into sneaking them into the room where, shock of all shocks, they both find Jason's engagement ring. They have a tryst. Uh, Mama Blossom's like, oh, he threw that at us when he well, left. Before all of that... I don't think you mean tryst. What, what's tryst? Sexual encounter? Argument. I've been using this wrong in, like, so many written documents. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh, uh oh, oh shit! We'll get back to that. A, a, a tip. A tip. Yeah, that's yes. a word. A tip. Shit. But back to the other thing. Um, Mrs. Blossom come in and tells Polly that the East Wing is off, is off limits, and she's just like. But that's fine. Here's like your daily oh, milkshake. Right. The daily milkshake, which just like I guess if you you gotta give extra calories to a pregnant woman, but a milkshake a day keeps the doctor away. Only if it's an apple milkshake, and but even like then the, the average calorie oh, difference is about the equivalent yes. of an extra glass of orange juice in, in a normal in a regular diet, but. Like, that's average out, so... Yeah, um... Well, I think that's also if you don't count the whipped cream, which there definitely was. And a cherry on top. Just, oh, yeah. Just to thoroughly in enforce the uh, Blossom family. Well, there was that going on, and then Polly was distracting Cheryl. The reason why they went inside there is because they were being co-captains for the homecoming. Oh, yeah, they were... Co they were co 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 queens which I don't think think is possible because I think that um, Polly's disappearance would have more or less meant she wasn't on the roster anymore. And that's the reason why yeah. they were in the room yeah. and everything else happened as you said. Yeah. And she gets a nightly milkshake and uh it's nights out for polly yeah the blossoms drugged her well um mama did and then cheryl um was like was like so don't get mad but i i was so mad i threw the ring and i flushed it down the toilet uh also you know to make sure it doesn't lead back to us and the parents were like we understand, and that was the right thing to do. And we're all going, bullshit, you did. <laughs> like, that was... You, you were the clingiest person in this series. There is no way you threw that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, it, it seemed a very obvious lie. Mm -hmm. but because they didn't show clearly that she threw it in the toilet. Uh, I mean, even if they had, it would have just kind of been dramatic memory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, so... Um, homecoming dance kicks off, Betty puts two and two together, realizing, wait, why are my, why is my mom talking to my two friends? Wait, um, wait a fucking minute, did they do the Shut thing? Again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did they do the thing that I specifically refused to do for my mom? God damn it. Mm -hmm. And then there's a tiff. Definitely a tiff between the three of them, which Jughead gets dragged into. And then it looks like the friendship's it, it, it looks like the friendship's over. Police come in and it's like, Jughead, your dad was arrested. Police come to FP's place. FP's yeah. place and find that. Yeah, they find a lockbox with a gun inside. And they say this, Jughead freaks out, Betty looks for Jughead. The main three meet at Pops, and Archie's like, uh, we looked in that closet, there was no gun, this is a setup. Dun dun dun, and that's where it ends, and yeah. And also, Archie's mom wants him to come back to Chicago. Yeah, which, to be fair, the reason she gave, which is pretty much, Riverdale is poison, and I don't want you to go down with it, is 
again, completely legitimate. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of leaving... Uh, it does make the Archie's family the most normal out of the bunch. Yeah. Although, you know, com like, comparing Andrews to Cooper's is... It's a lot so, like comparing uh, apples to cyanide. Or, you know, Pence to Trump. Which one's worse? That's kind of my point in a nutshell. But although, I although you, Roxy, you said that that was a uh, unfair comparison to the TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Andrews are, at the very least, sane. There, and another point, there was a funny moment that I liked in the homecoming oh, okay. dance that Kevin was just, was, like, Jughead comes to Kevin and his gay boyfriend, and they're like, where are they? And they're like, don't you have, like, a tracker on all of them? Yeah. <laughs> you guys need trackers. trackers on all of them. Yeah. That was... I mean, mm, think that, the, all the story threads need trackers on them, because they go, they just go all over the place. There's so many. There was quite a bit of witty moments. Yeah, there, there was episode. some good wittiness. I appreciated I that. And that and doesn't I, redeem it from being Riverdale, but... Yeah. And then there was a nice, not bad performance by Archie and Veronica doing Kids in America. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. It is not the worst cover I've heard of it. Yeah. I, not. I mean, you know, they're not Broadway stars, but... No. Or no. Van Halen, but, you know... I, I think I they're having fun with yeah, it. Yeah, they did all... They did fine. They did fine. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. Others may disagree. Yep. But, um, yeah. So, does that cover anything? Do we have any thoughts? Honestly, I kind of wish they, they'd, uh... Oh, and the one last thing that they, the main three, or the main four, think that his Jughead's father's being framed. But I mentioned that. Oh, you didn't yeah. mention that. Yeah. I didn't know. Or Wait, it's alright. I wasn't listening. Happens. We, we, we brought up the theory that uh, the entire county is in an asylum and Pop is the warden. I get, I, in that vein, I'd have liked to see uh, Betty rush in and say, what, uh, who was she searching for at the end? Jughead. Jughead. Have you seen Jughead? And Pop goes, why yes, let me pull my try. No, I haven't. <laughs> like, like his very own Marauders map where you could just see clearly where everyone is. But it's just a, a map of Riverdale. <laughs> Aren't you guys mentioning like the Weasley clock too or yeah. something? Yeah, oh, for all the severe cases like Alice and the Blossoms. Jesus. And it'll even include where Jason Blossom is too. Oh, dead. Yeah, dead. <laughs> dead. Does, does the hand just fall off? Deceased. <laughs> and this one shows Hiram oh, off the map. <laughs> Hiram will be tagged upon leaving prison. <laughs> Especially if he is to be introduced to Riverdale community. Yeah. Which seems like he is. Yeah, the, the ghost of Hiram is, may be taking off his bedsheet soon. Maybe. Oh, oh, look, Mrs. Andrews is back in town. <laughs> I, I didn't think she'd come back after I issued her the... Uh, same past. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all those people. Like, in, and reactivate tracker. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all those people in one flew, flew over the cuckoo's nest. It's like, well, you guys are all committed. It's like, no, pretty much all of us are voluntary. What? <laughs> um, I can't think of anything. Yeah, else. no, this was a fairly inoffensive episode. It was decent. Yeah, well, I think. King by Riverdale standards. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my only thing is that it's... Okay, here's something that I do have a small issue with, is that it's... There are so many red herrings, and I think we brought this up, that it's actually really hard to figure out who's been cleared and who hasn't. Because, yeah, I, I, I'm i sure everyone's got their finger in Jason's pie. I'm picking a different metaphor. Um... <laughs> There, um, uh, I'm sure they've all had a hand in something that's happened, whether it's shitty parenting, a cover-up, or murder. But, again, like, everybody's on the murder board. We just don't know where all the yarn leads right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. That and the yarn keeps catching on fire spontaneously. Yep. Too many roadblocks. 
Indeed. So... They've got two episodes to clear this shit up. Wow. Yeah. Man, it's, um... Yeah, um... What, uh, if it gets cleared up. Yeah, okay. Let's place our bets now. Is the, is the culprit going to be named in episode 12 or 13? 12. And I think 12. so, too. Yeah, because it's always the... Ow, damn it. <laughs> An ultimate one. Yeah, and then the final one is all about... The wrap-up. Yeah, the wrap-up and catching them and stuff like that. Or maybe that's just Marvel Netflix. Um, but yeah. So... Yeah, that was uh, to Riverdale and back again, the Hobbit's journey. Um, so, unless there's anything else, uh, we can we can sign off. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's probably as good a plan as any. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. All right. Well, we will see you in the next episode. Ciao. Or no, see you, space cowboy. Bang. That's a very good reference to waste on Riverdale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. It yeah. doesn't need that enemy. It doesn't deserve it. It doesn't deserve the reference. <laughs>